What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I have 15 more awesome tweaks to show you guys. So to get all these tweaks, you're going to have to be jailbroken. Video right here, right up here, so just click on that and you'll be good. And all these tweaks will be listed in the description below, so just check there. All the tweaks will be listed and also a source you could add to Cydia and that will help you out with getting all these tweaks. And yeah, that's it. So the first tweak is called Docker. Docker is basically a tweak that enhances your phone dock. So as you can see, I just slide up and I have more options right there in the dock. So if you have, if I have five tweaks up here, five apps in my dock, it will give me the option to have five more. And how do I add them? You can see the plus right there. I could just basically tap on the plus, slide up and like hold on to the plus. It says select app if I want to add eBay. Boom, it's gone. So that's basically what the tweet does. It does add an extra row to your dock. You could just slide up and slide down to get to it. And if you want to delete it, all I have to do is hold on. As now you can see it's in wiggle mode. I hit that X and look, the app goes right back to where it was on the springboard. So that one is called Docker. And my next one is called Icon Finder. If you're if you're a themer like me, sometimes you get you forget where the apps are. So you would just go to search, and if I want to find contacts, you see it right there. And I could tap on it, and it will bring me to my contacts. But if I say I want to find out where the app is, like what page or what folder, I could go back right there and I hold on to this, and it will bring me to the folder. And as you can see, contacts is is blinking so it tells me it's in the extras folder and that's where it is so let's do that again hold on to it after you find it and it brings me right there and show me where it is so that one is called icon finder and then my number three one is called live icon disabler so what this tweet does is basically any icon that you have on you any app that you have on your screen that's live like the, the clock you know how usually the clock is going around so what this does is basically it just stops it. So all your live icons, it just stops, stops it. Does everything is still. So that's what it does. It does disable disables the live motion of any icon you have on your springboard. And number four is called respring progress. Respring progress is if I put my phone to respring. Let me show you real quick. put my phone to respring it's gonna give me a progress bar right there just like that and that loading screen is from the is from the theme that I'm using so yeah that one is called respring progress and number five is called status bar volume so if, if I hit the volume you can see in the status bar that's where the volume shows up so if I'm in YouTube And I'm looking at some videos and I hit the volume. It's right up there. And if I'm watching a video. What's up guys? Mike here, the Detroit Borg with you can a see it right in the top. So that one is called status bar of volume. And number six is called swipe to delete contacts. So if I go back to contacts, let's go to contacts real quick. And I want to delete any one of these names. Usually you have to tap on the name, then hit edit, and go all the way down to delete. But look at this. If I swipe across, I could delete that just like that. So if I don't want that in my phone, boom. Delete. Yes. And that's gone. And that one is called swipe to delete contact. So that, that one is real cool. And then number seven is called GIF lock. So you're going to have to download a GIF um, picture from the other app. That's what I did. And then... Then on your lock screen, you could have a GIF like this. And if you know what movie this is, definitely hit the like the like button and and tell me in the comment if you know what movie this is. This is a hood classic right here. Especially if you're Jamaican, you have to know what movie this is. This is from. So this is the whole GIF right here. So that one is called GIF lock. And then number eight is called. CC live brightness. So if I go to my control center and I want to adjust my brightness, look at this. See that? It's live brightness. So basically showing you 
in real time what the brightness is. So you tap on it and everything else disappears. You could bring it down to show you just like that. And that one is called CC Live Brightness. Number nine is called Keep On Airplane Mode. So if I go to settings, I scroll down. I find it where is it at? Keep on airplane mode. So this is it right here. And basically what this does if if I swipe up and I want to turn on airplane mode, it won't disable Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So turn on airplane mode and look, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is still on. So that's what this tweet does, guys. Keep on airplane mode. If you turn Wi-Fi, if you turn airplane mode on, it won't disable Wi-Fi or Bluetooth so that's really cool so let's turn those back turn that off and then number 10 is called 3d app lock 3d app lock if you want to lock an app whatever app you want does this is for 3d um, touch devices and other devices you could download another tweak that lets you get um, 3d touch but for this is for basically the 6s and the 6s plus so if I want to lock say I want to lock my Facebook. All I have to do is just force touch on it, and at the bottom right there, he says "lock app." I hit that, and now when I try to open it, I have to use my um, fingerprint to open it, just like with Instagram. I have to use my fingerprint to open it up. When I do Cydia lock, I have to use my fingerprint to open it up, and that's what 3D app lock does. Number 11 is called Wave to Wake. Wave to wake is a cool tweet that if your device is locked and you like you want to see what's on your screen, you want to see your notification, all you have to do is just wave in front of the proximity sensor and basically it would open. I mean just wave in front of the proximity sensor and it would open. And if I want to lock my device, all I have to do is wave three times over the proximity sensor and it'll lock just like this. Just like that. See I wave three times? And then it basically locked. Touch on that one, two, three. What am I doing, man? Okay, so I keep I keep hitting the app, but it does work, and you could set it up in settings. There you go. So you could set it up in settings. So if you go to settings, focus. I'll go to wave to wave. So I have for lock, in fact, for, let's disable the lock, but for, no, for, for unlock is disabled, but for lock I have it set to three waves. So that's how it's set up. Just like that. And when it's locked, you could just wave over it and it'll just wake up just like that and all your notifications would be right there. If you don't have passcode lock on, you could just wave over it and it'll op open right up. And number 12 is camera tweak. Camera tweak is basically a tweak that gives you your camera more options. So I have it on photo right now. It is telling me my aspect ratio. I could switch it up. So let's leave it right there. And for videos, as you can see right here, I could switch these up right on the fly. Now it's on 30 frames per second. The video is at 4K. So 2160p is basically 4K, and I could tap on that, and I could down to 1080, 720, right on the fly, just like that. So that's what Camera Tweak does, and it does more. You just have to dig into it. But yeah, that one is called Camera Tweak. And number 13 is called Auto Save Story. Auto Save Story is for Snapchat. So if I go to Snapchat and I take a picture before I add it to my story if I hit this right here it will tell me basically do I want to save it so every picture that I get is going to auto save I could just hit save and upload or just upload or I could just hit cancel and back out so that's what that one does it has auto save story just basically it's a snapchat tweet that lets you save all your stuff so number 14 is called bottom bar bottom bar is a tweet that bring all your status bar to the bottom so let's go here Enable it, respring, and you can see the whole 
progress right there and look right there at the bottom see that so that's what bottom bar does guys it's not really a practical tweak but if you want to switch it up then you could do that but you see bottom bar does basically bring your status bar down to the bottom of your screen number 15 and the last one is called reach the nyan cat so if you're in an app like i'm in twitter and I do reachability, then you can see the, the Nyan Cat in the background. That's all this tweet does. It's not really a practical tweet, but if you want to have a little thing going on with your reachability when you invoke it, then that one's there. So there you go, guys. 15 cool tweaks for you guys. And I have tons of video in the description. The jailbreak video lots more tweaks and themes in the description and also the theme that I'm using right now is called Yamera for iOS Yamera I have it in the description just check it out in Cydia it's Prince with ATP 101 definitely hit that thumbs up button and that subscribe button peace thanks for watching